Hello everyone, I am the Fitness Kid and you are watching Strong Kids Episode 9. In this series, I challenge myself to a workout that I think will push my limits and then challenge you, the watchers, to do it alongside with me. So the workout today is a full-on arms and upper body blaster. It'll work my biceps, my triceps, and my back and shoulders. So there are three exercises and I do four rounds. So the first exercise, I want to show you these before I do them, is the pull-up. So the pull-up, I'm going to go with a slightly with a slightly smaller grip. I'm not going to go really wide. Just going to do a shorter one. So I'm going to start, you know, dead hang. At the top, I want my chin over the bar, then back down. I'll be doing that nine times. After that, we have nine tricep dips. So tricep dips, you... Um, you're at the top, you know, you want your you want your elbows just fully extended, then you go down. I want 90 degree angle. Um, and then do that, do that, do that nine total times. Then over here I'm gonna do bicep curls, but before I show them to you, I want to show you the weight. So I've got some questions about these and they are a different kind of weight. So if you come down here, you'll see there are six different numbers on here that each represent a different weight that this weight set can be. So there's six pounds all the way up to 24 pounds. So if you adjust these, all of these weigh, weigh a different, different amount of weights and the more you have on there, the more it weighs. So three of these might be 12 pounds. If you have all of them, it could be 24. So that way you basically get six weights in one set of weights. So I really like these because they're very cheap compared to buying six different set of six different kind of weights and they're very efficient you know you can you can easily change them for a workout if it requires different types of weights and different weight sets and levels and anything so as I said there's nine reps so nine pull-ups nine tricep dips and nine bicep curls and the bicep curls I'm sure you all know them but I'll go over it just in case simple you want to fully curl on the top I want my elbow to be constricted down there to go to back to fully extend the arm at the bottom. So I'll be doing nine of those, so a total of 72 reps, so nine times nine times, or nine plus nine, nine plus nine times four, so four rounds of nine reps of each of these exercises. So I'll have my water, and I have a timer on my phone. Let's just, as always, jump right into this.
up to the hardest part of this. So this, these next, this next 30 seconds is gonna be probably the worst of the whole workout. So as I said, this is going to be hard, so I'm just going to transition into some fast singles. So one pull up, take a quick rest, one pull up, so that way my arms last longer. was six minutes and 32 seconds so 70 72 reps six minutes and 32 seconds so that was the workout um, and now to analyze it to tell you what my thoughts and how I felt I did I will meet you over in my room so looking back on it I think I chose this workout because of its wide availability in equipment um, and results to people everywhere, you know, you can do pull-ups, you know, in, in any park in pretty much anywhere And you could do tricep dips at your house just on a chair just just anywhere You know pretty much everyone can do tricep dips bank dips, whatever you want Whatever you want to call them and bicep curls pretty much universally available um, at many local uh, Local gyms you can even just use big heavy rocks. You can use those to do bicep curls with and stuff uh, so I really think that this proves a point that I try and promote on my channel that you don't have to have a big expensive gym, you don't have to have tons of really fancy equipment to get fit, you know, to, to lead a healthy lifestyle. You can just have a playground, some rocks, and a bench and get really good workout because that workout challenged me, you know. It uh, it was short, it was what, six six minutes for me, but it really, it I'm going to feel that tomorrow. It was seven seventy two reps. so. It's it's challenging and it's challenge it's a lot more challenging for many people, and I think that's it's it really proves my point that um, that you know you 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 can do fitness without anything. It just has to be you, and if you're determined to do it, then you can. So, I also want to talk about how I felt about the workout. So I think I think I I think I did pretty good. Um, that third round, like like I said. Those pull-ups just just really get you. You know, the first for first round I did nine in a row. I did I did all of them. You know, just just straight, and it was those were easy. You know, those those first nine, those first even those first eighteen pull-ups, those first two rounds, those were easy. But then the third round hits you, and you're like, wow, what, what's happening? You know, and then and then by the end, by the fourth fifth round, I was just doing fast singles on the pull-ups. So just one rep, take a break, one rep, and I think. That is a really efficient, easy way. This is this is a really good tip. That's a really efficient way to do pull-ups if you're tired. You know, if you're in a competition, if you're just doing pull-ups, a great way to do it. So just you know, just do a pull-up, just do it, then step down from the bar, just get off the bar, step back, just take a deep breath, then go back forward, and then go on the bar, do a pull-up, step back from the bar, and you'll actually find it doesn't take that much effort because 
doing one pull up, just going up and then dropping down doesn't take that much effort. What takes effort is going up, holding yourself, holding your entire body weight as you go down and then pulling yourself back up again. So doing just pulling yourself up isn't actually as challenging as doing just full two full pull ups. So that, that I think that really helped me in those last couple rounds. And then those bicep curls, I, I was starting to lose form there at the end, so I'm glad it was it was only four rounds because by round six or whatever I would have been I would have had to really focus on the form and then just like the pull-ups be doing singles. But overall I'm happy with how I did. Uh, I'm good with six minutes. Uh, I really like how it works every part of my um, upper body. You know the pull-ups work shoulders and back, then the biceps are worked by bicep curls and then triceps on the back of your arm are worked by the tricep dips. So overall I think this was a great workout and you guys I think can try this and you should try this. So I'll have the workout in the description if you just want to write it down on a piece of paper or something so you can go do it. And um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> that is all. So please buy Fitness Kid merch. Um, link in the description for that. Follow me on Instagram. Subscribe and I'll see you next time.